hello everyone now in this tutorial we are going to see what is class what is object and how that class is useful while creating an object and object while creating an object we have to follow some steps like declaration instantiation and initialization we will see everything how to do that okay at first what is a class a class is nothing but a blueprint or else template this class is useful while creating an object and let me see what is an object it is nothing but an instance of a class we will get good example about this class and object let we see what is that example for this yeah here animal it is a template and tiger lion monkey that are nothing but instances see here animal is nothing but a template or blueprint this is nothing but a class and tiger lion monkey that are nothing but objects here object has both st state behavior identity state is nothing but a property of an object and behavior is nothing but a web identity identity in the sense if you create an object jvm automatically allocate some identity to that particular object it is a unique one by using that identity only the jvm finds which object is which one and here so i will uh, tell you this state behavior identity with an example suppose take an example of ice cube it it is in solid state it is nothing but property and behavior is nothing but it has a melting behavior it will melt and identity is it is a unique one that will be allocated by jvm okay now we will discuss what are the things that may come in a class a class may contain variables methods constructors instance blocks static blocks inner classes inner interfaces okay we will discuss about variables methods constructors and everything in later sessions now we will see how to create an object object creation will be done in three steps i already said you the three steps are declaration declaration instantiation initialization let we see what is declaration of an object instantiation and initialization here this object creation follows declaration instantiation and initialization declaration of an object is nothing but it is a combination of reference and as well as that object name that is nothing but declaration and instantiation we will do by using a new keyword this new keyword will allocate some memory space for this particular object ex object it will allocate some memory space for that in memory location and initialization we will do initialization with a constructor it is nothing but a example this will do initialization now we will see everything with an example we will create one class for this uh let it be that class name is an animal and it will contain public static void main method yes we created one class here in package com dot example dot cars it is an example one example package uh now we will create some instance variables for this animal 
string animal int number now we will declare a one constructor here animal and we will keep it as a public here string animal int number okay we will assign these values to instance variables anim sorry and number and wo now we'll see how to create an object it is nothing but a declaration first it follows a step called declarative step see how the declarative step will be this is object declaration and instantiation nothing but allocating a memory space by using a new keyword and initialization by using a constructor here we didn't have a default constructor so we should have to use this parameterized constructor here if we w if we didn't have any constructor here then jvm automatically will allocate some default constructor for every class so no need of constructor at that time one key and that are in three in number let it be like this now we will create another object for don key that are five in number to print this data we will declare one more method print and that animal is animal and plus that number will be number okay now we will see what data it has monkey dot print will give monkey details and donkey dot print it will give donkey details now we we will execute this one yes animal monkey that number of monkeys are three and donkey animal it has five in number and one more thing here we have to remember is every object has unique property unique id see monkey will be assigned with some unique id in jvm and donkey has different unique id so that only we can able if you give print method that is a common method we are printing with different objects that one object is monkey another another object is donkey this monkey object will create a new memory space for monkey details and this donkey object will create a new memory spa space for donkey details for this classes and objects we have some rules have to follow we will see one by one now in one source file many classes are allowed but only one class should be public the class which we declared as public that class name should have to use to save that file suppose here animal is an class name what we saved this source file i mean with this name we saved this source file and animal is the class which has a public now we will declare another class here public class example in one source file we are going to create two classes and i uh, here 
I kept this class also as public so it is showing compilation error here now we will remove this public it won't show because with what class name we saved this source file that class name should be public remaining classes shouldn't be as public by using that class name only we have to execute our program here why we should have to save that class name which class has public because here JVM will search for this this class animal class which should be a public because we are accessing it outside of a package so this animal name should be on public so directly JVM will access this animal here this is the first rule and second rule is if we declare a class name in package that package will be the first statement of that source file see here we declared a class in a package so it should be a first one and if we have any imports we have to import later java dot util dot star we have to import after this package name if you import it before that package name itself it will show some compilation error here see yes it, it will show compilation error and third rule is after creating an object that variable that instance variables will be assigned to a default values instance variables will be assign it to default values let we see how it is now we will see this one with an example i will remove this everything and I will keep that instance variables to explain this property public animal sorry I won't declare any default variable uh, default uh, constructor over here now directly I will create animal new animal here we declared one animal we didn't have any default constructor here JVM will internally create this default constructor see this one is a default constructor and these values will be assigned to default values now we will print these values now we will check that values will be assigned to default things or not see string default value is null and number default value is 0 that values are assigned so while creating an object that initialization of instance variables will happen thank you